Hello everyone. In this video, I will register my IP phone to a server running CUCM. To do this, I will first set up my complete network connectivity on all these devices and then configure my call manager. In my topology, I have two 7965 Cisco IP phones, a Catalyst 3550 PoE switch, a Cisco 2811 series router, and a server running my call manager. I'm going to first configure my fast signal ports 1 and 2 that are connected to my IP phones. Next, I'll configure the port connected to my server, FA0 slash 23. And finally, I'll configure FA0 slash 24, which is the port that connects to my router. After this, I will configure my router and then step into my call manager configuration. The data VLAN I'll be using is 10, the voice VLAN of 20 and a server VLAN of 30. On the router, I'll configure sub-interfaces FA0 slash 0.10 with an IP address of 10.1.10.254 for devices on my data VLAN, FA0 slash 0.20 with an IP address of 10.1.20.254 for my voice VLAN and FA0 slash 30 with an IP address of 10.1.30.254 for my server VLAN. I will also configure a loopback on my router. So let's step into configuration. First I'm going to name my VLANs. VLAN 10 is my data VLAN. VLAN 20 is my voice VLAN and VLAN 30 is my server VLAN. Now let's configure FA0 slash 1 and FA0 slash 2. Their access ports, their access VLAN being 10, and their voice VLAN being 20. Next, I'm going to configure FA0 slash 23. I'm going to assign it my server VLAN of 30. Finally, I'm going to configure FA0 slash 24 as my trunk port. I'm going to set the encapsulation to document queue. allowed VLANs of 10, 20 and 30. Now let's move on to the router's configuration. I'm going to first configure my loopback followed by all my sub interfaces. I'm setting the encapsulation to dot one q I'm going to assign the IP address 10.1.10.254 to this interface. 
in sublin mask of Here we have configured our loopback and all our sub interfaces. There is a bit of additional configuration and that is on interface FA0020. I'm going to issue an IP help address to this interface. I am issuing the IP helper address command so that the phones know where to get the DHCP IP address from. My call manager's IP address is 10.1.30.1. I simply open a browser and type in this IP address. Click on the hyperlink Cisco Unified Communication Manager Administration and type in your configured username and password. I'm going to set up my call manager to provide IP addresses through DHCP to both my phones. To do that, I point to system, DHCP, and DHCP server. Select your call manager's IP address and click save. You notice the status has add successful. Now we create the pools by pointing to system, DHCP, and DHCP subnet. Here you click add new. Select the previously configured DHCP server and type in the IP address you want to configure. I'm going to assign 10 IP addresses in the range of 10.1.20.10 to 10.1.20.20. I'm going to set my primary router IPv4 address to 10.1.20.254 and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Finally, I'll give my TFTP server address as 10.1.30.1. And save it. You'd notice the status is added successful. By now your IP phones will have got an IP address. To enable registration of your IP phones, point to system, scroll down to Cisco Unified CN, find, open your call manager and give a and give a range for auto registration. Here I have provided 6 DNs from 1000 to 1005. Save that. After this, you should reset your pool. After the reset, your IP phone will have gotten a number, which is 1000 in my case.
you can find out all the phones that have registered by pointing to device phone you would see the phones that have registered one being a CIPC and one 7965 IP phone I'm going to make a call from my 7965 phone into my Cisco Unified Personal Communicator As you can see, the phone is ringing and the call from 1005 on to 1000. Thank you for watching.